Thank you for being here with me. As you heard, I'm Luis Gonzaga from the University of Florida. And today we're going to be discussing a little bit more about the Edentulous Aesthetic Risk Assessment. Well, just to give you a historical view of this checklist, if you remember in 2006 on the ITI Treatment Guide Volume 1, we were introduced to the Aesthetic Risk Assessment Table. Uh, first published by Dr. Will Martin, D. Morton, and Danny Boozer. And here you see the original risk factors that were included on that table. And the goal of such table was to identify the patients and how these factors could impact on your treatment, giving you maybe an idea of a less ideal outcome. There was not a table to maybe rule out if the patient was a candidate for implant or not, but mainly to have a education on the risk assessment for less than ideal outcome. This uh, table was later uh, added to the SAC classification, uh, what is a very impactful book on the field of implant dentistry in 2009. Right? And it was part of uh, the SAC evaluation for straightforward events and complex uh, treatment. What uh, here, uh, the goal was to identify the complexity of the patient's uh, treatment and maybe, you know, educate the clinician about certain approaches. Well, this uh, table was revised uh, in 2017. Uh, similar group here now with the addition of Professor Vivian Chapui, where the, the flow of the table has changed a little bit. The sequence has changed a little bit and some risk factors had added to. Uh, 